the day before the Donna Marath half marathon for me, but it's Donna Marathon race. It's cloudy, cooler. The last two days has been like in the 70s or 80s, but this weekend's going to be in the 50s, cloudy, and there's like 80% chance of rain tomorrow now. So I got to figure out what I'm going to wear. And I'm about to get up, get dressed, go to the Jacksonville Fairgrounds and pick up my race packet. And then I will also, there's like a running expo, Holton Wellness Expo. So I'll rock around with my GoPro and see what they got. Alrighty. We're here somewhere, but it's cool we're by the Jaguar Stadium. So now I know where this parking is. But we're going back there to the fairgrounds. All right, here we go. Take a landing or a go through. <laughs> Even. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Yeah, I just picked up some. <laughs> Thanks. In my pocket. Good to see you. I'll come to you. <laughs> What's a short would you like, ma'am? Um, medium. Okay. Yeah. What color bag would you like? Um, I'll take a blue one. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's true. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Have a good day. You too. Expo. Oh, wait. I'm going to put this in here. So we're going to start, okay, so it's going to be, let me take a picture of this, start and finish line. Spectator. Maybe my roommate will come watch me die. <laughs> or no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's that app. Oh, yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Hopefully the weather isn't as terrible. 
do you, do you race in Jacksonville or run in Jacksonville a lot? Or? No, I just moved here in July okay. and I did a 5K in like October and I was like, okay, that was cool and fun. So, so there's two races in Jacksonville that I would say are the best races. It's the Donna. Yeah. Like normally you'll find like during a race, people will be on their driveways as you're running by. Like some people set up bars in their driveways as you're running <laughs> by. But, like, they're cheering you on. They decorate their houses, their neighborhoods. I mean, it's such a local event. The other one is the Gate River Run. If you I haven't signed up one. for that, sign up for it. It's in this same, you'll come to the same place for the expo. Um, it starts downtown, you run through downtown, a couple bridges, same thing. You're running through people's neighborhoods and they love it. They come out, they support. And, um, when it's hot out, some people they have like the freeze cops that are like <laughs> at the bottom of their driveway. You run by, they just band you, and it's like, yeah, who does that? Yeah, but it's such a cool <laughs> thing, such a fun event. Um, so this will be this will be my eighth one. Eighth? Oh, okay. Uh, I run with Marathon High. We, we, so. uh, we train high school kids for four months to run the half marathon. So. If you see a bunch of kids in green tomorrow, green? Okay. <laughs> jackets over green, um, or if you see any of the Marathon High logos and stuff like that, that's that's us. They train for four months. They use the Galloway method. Uh, so you'll see them taking walk breaks, run, walk, run, and uh, they, they're good kids, and they're, they're super, super, uh, like I said, high school kids that most of their, most of their friends will be sleeping when they finish the race. You know, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> such a such a cool thing. Yeah. What's your name? That's awesome. Gabby. Gabby. My name is Mitch. Nice to meet you. Nice yeah. You. Well, have fun tomorrow. If, if we see you, I'll say hey. I guess I'll, I'll have a green shirt on somewhere. <laughs> probably have a jacket on too. So, um, but I will right. have fun. Cool. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Bye. <laughs> made it back it's cold so tomorrow i'm definitely it's supposed to rain and it's gonna be kind of this cold like it's not like you know deathly cold but it's in the 50s with a little brisk wind and so i'm definitely gonna wear a light jacket i think i'll be fine once i get started i'm just worried about like my hands and my ears i was wearing my hat out there and that helped out a lot but i don't think i'm gonna wear this because it'll get too sweaty but yeah let me show you what i got so they had maps in there so just in case my roommate makes it out to support me she has a nice map of the crossroads and i took a picture of another map in there to see where my start is so that i can like um just know where to park closer to the start line because the start line's a finish line so that's very helpful so you don't have to like run half a marathon and then walk back to find your car or get a ride, but yeah. Okay, so let me show you what I got. Got the bag, and then I got, there's, my race bib is an even, 1300, easy to remember. So there is an app um, that you can download, so if anybody wants to follow me, and this is past due, so I'll probably post it today but I'm gonna post it on my Facebook um, in real time for anybody who wants to follow me. 1300. Oop. Got a shirt. Very nice. And it's like, it feels like it's good material. Sometimes you get that cheap cotton, like this is, this is good. Um, let's see, I picked up, I think this is a neck gaiter. So that'll be nice. Yeah, it is. So I'll wear this tomorrow. And if I need to, I can put it over my head. And then when I get too hot, then I can kind of take it down and just have it like around my neck. And then, let's see. I think that's pretty much 
it. There's a few times I forgot to hit my recording on my, there's a few times I forgot to hit record on my GoPro. Um, one of them was when I was outside, before I walked in, they had a um, kind of like welcome to Jack's uh, different activities to do. And I had seen there's the Jack's Ale Trail that me and my friend are gonna do for our birthday when she comes to visit. And so they gave us these little passports. And I think you take these to each bar and they give you, oh yeah, so they give you a little map so that you don't get lost. So I don't think it's like you actually ride um, with them. You just kind of walk along the trail or drive along the trail and you get it like a stamp at each uh, bar you go to. So we'll probably do that. And yeah, just picked up a couple of magnets. I don't know if they'll stick to my car, but I think I got this one. And then there's one that actually has, I think 13.1 on it somewhere, probably in my other bag. Oh, let's see. I did buy a few things for tomorrow. So I bought this Under Armour shirt that I'm gonna wear underneath my jacket. And then I bought, I might try this tonight. I think it's like hydrating drink mix. Hydro sports feel, yeah. So it's like sodium. So then I also got some goose for tomorrow. I haven't tried these before and I know people are like, don't try new things on race day. Well, this is only my second race and my first half marathon. So um, I know kind of my hard, you know, wall right now is about six miles. And so probably about five or six miles, I'll take one. And then I just got a couple extra just in case, like, you know, start breaking down more um, towards the end. I think probably when I hit mile 11, I'll be fine. And I talked to a lot of people in there at the expo and they were saying, you know, it's really an, an amazing experience. There's people um, at their houses along the way, which lucky them they're like right next to the beach like one block from the beach but yeah so they sit on their driveways and cheer everybody on and like sometimes they're like themed um so i'm i think you know all that extra outside um attractions will keep me going um and then what else happened oh i think one i don't think i filmed this either but um i played marathon some kind of game trivia marathon trivia so I was spinning the wheel and getting questions and I actually got them all right. She did help me. She helped me out a lot, but I was kind of surprised, um, you know, my, my marathon knowledge with a lack of running. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to go home. Well, I think I'm going to get some food. I'll look up some places if I can grab some breakfast around here because it's only 9 a.m. Um, get some food and just relax and hydrate today. And then I'll probably see you later when I pack my bag and set out my clothes and stuff for tomorrow. And then we got to wake up at 5 a.m. All right, I'm about to go to sleep. I got all my stuff laid out. Got a bag. I have extra clothes for after and a towel and some wet wipes. And then I got my numbers, pens. I'm wearing this vest so I can hold my phone, keys, gels, chopstick, keys, whatnot, socks. And I think after watching the weather, I think I might wear my beanie, neck garter, hoodie. This is going to be pretty chilly tomorrow, so. Yep. All right. Good night.
so I made it. I'm about, I think like three blocks from the starting line. They were starting to close off road so you can't park too close, but it's cold, it's rainy, it's windy. The wind is blowing my car. It was raining really hard. Uh, probably about five minutes away, but it's just kind of drizzling right now, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be a hard one because it's, <sighs> yeah. It's like 51 right now with a feel of like 40 something. But yeah, I think hopefully when I get to the starting line, they'll have like some good mu music playing and I I'll, we'll probably be fine by the time we start, you know, warming up and getting into the race. But I'm here. I'm staying in the car as long as I can because I do not want to be cold. So I will see you guys when I start walking that way. to the face. The wind is so strong. I'm still running. Feeling good settling into a 12 minute mile.
turnaround point. Seeing people turn around now, so I'm gonna make it. We're about to hit the turn around. Maybe one more mile. Taking a little walk break. That was the hardest mile yet. I think I was some at seven miles now. This is epic now. Downpour raining, less than three miles to go. Alright, let's go. mile change of plans my knee is super freaking tight so I got one mile left my legs are starting to cramp a little bit had some Gatorade just trying to make it I'm walking or running I'm running across the finish line all right Almost there. Almost to the finish line. I can see it. cussing. <sighs> I don't even know what to say. Everything I planned for, straight out the window. It was cold, it was windy, it was raining. And really like the cold wasn't even the issue. 
because once we started running, like I warmed up and it was fine, but it was just raining. It was 22 mile per hour winds that were just like hitting us so hard that I just had to like walk for a minute just until we got past, you know, the street where it was like the wind was just concentrated, you know, down that street. I just had to walk and <laughs> shield myself until we turned a corner. But yeah, the first couple miles were really slow because we were just like so bunched up in a group that you're just kind of trying to weave through, but the street was so narrow to start with that my I didn't really care what my mile pace was at that point. Um, but once we broke out around like the second, third mile, then I had space and I, you know, started to try to get to a, a 12 minute, just a comfortable pace. And then I was fine. It was, you know, a little rainy, but then we went to a neighborhood with big trees. So that kind of uh, covered us for a while. And I was good until like mile seven. Then I started just getting like, it was like mentally hard because we were in this neighborhood and we were just like going around and you couldn't tell like when we were gonna get out, when it was gonna end. And all of a sudden we just pop out back on the street. So we're passing people that were behind us. And so that kind of gave me a little boost um, for a little bit. And then like nine miles, nine and 10, my hips started getting tight. My knees started getting tight but I still felt like, okay, I was just walking a little bit, making sure to get water. Um, people were giving out the little goos, so that was really nice. But yeah, at mile 11, like my knee was just like so tight. I could not, I could take like four, you know, running steps and then it would be like sharp, tight pain. Like, not like I tore anything, but it was just like so tight that I, I just couldn't run. So I started walking uh, and then I started trying to speed walk and then I just tried to do a little run, a little walk, a little run. And then I got, I kind of figured out a little gimpy little run that I could do for like the last half mile. Cause I could see, so once we turn on like the last street, the start and the finish was the same street. So once we got back onto that street, I knew I'm like, it's close. And then once we got within a half mile, like I could see the finish line. And so I was like, okay, if I can get into like a kind of gimpy little run thing that doesn't look too crazy, you know, I can just finish. And I did cross the finish line. It was great. Like everybody was, you know, on the sides, um, got my medal, got my picture. So that was fun. And then not 60 seconds later the first place marathon girl finished so i was like she ran twice as much as i did and that's fine but i ran for me um definitely wasn't the you know perfect conditions to run i feel like i would have run faster if maybe it wasn't raining <laughs> my feet started hurting oh yeah my feet started hurting really bad i think they got wet we were trying to miss the puddles as much as we could but Honestly, on my GoPro, it was like mile like nine. It just started downpouring, downpouring so hard. And at that point, my hoodie was my hood was already soaked. I put it on my head, but it was just like sticking to my head, already soaked. But yeah, my my hips hurt, my knees hurt, my feet hurt, my Achilles hurt. Like everything just hurts so bad. Like I just want to go home, take a hot shower. I'm gonna order some food. And yeah. I don't even know the next time I'm going to work out. <laughs> I'm going to give myself at least a day or two because that was so hard. But I know I didn't keep track on my watch because I started my watch before I crossed the start line. And then I forgot to turn off my watch after, but I'll see on the app. I know it was probably under, right under three hours. Um, I was... At the halfway mark, I was where I thought I was supposed to be at like seven or eight miles. It was like an hour and 15, an hour 30, somewhere around there. So I was like, okay, like I might be two hours and 30 minutes, two hours and 45 minutes if I just keep this pace. But then once my knee started tightening up, like I lost it. So, but it was fun. Um, it was definitely an experience. I think a lot of people are gonna have stories to tell that we were running in pretty much like hurricane like conditions oh my goodness but yeah I just want to go home 
just want to get in the shower and hopefully my legs don't cramp up while I'm driving. Okay. Oh, one more thing. My headphones died at like the third mile. So I had nothing to listen to. And I'm just like talking to myself in my head. And then every now and again, there would be like, you know, people, there's a lot of people on the streets and their driveways and stuff, um, playing music and having the cowbells and stuff. But that was super difficult not having anything to listen to for most of the race, 10 miles. Mm -hmm.